Hey, what's up? Mike Locke here, ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So let's talk about conversion optimization. I want to go through uh, and give you some tips on some ways you can optimize your website or your landing pages for better conversions. Now, if you're a web designer or a small business owner, uh, the term conversion optimization should be or should become familiar to you over time because it's it's vital for you to understand these sort of concepts and um, ways to go about manipulating your site or optimizing your site for the case you know for the purpose of gaining better conversions and, and a conversion is basically uh, someone filling out a form on your site someone uh, downloading something from your site or actually purchasing something from your site so uh, a conversion can be many different things. Now, uh, one of the things that that um, I would recommend, I'm going to go through some some tips that you can you can apply to your website or to your clients' websites. Or um, and uh, by in not, by no means are these the only things that you can actually optimize your site with. Um, there are probably many more. I'm just going to go over some tips that that I've known through my experience and and give you some some tips that way. Okay, so the first thing. Say this was your site. Uh, doesn't matter what type of site it is. I highly recommend. Um, this is my personal site, and um, what I found very, very uh, successful is uh, being transparent, being open, so, so, sort of uh, showing who you are. So I have a pro, you know profile picture there. You know I have a little title, Meet Michael Locke. You don't act, actually have to go this route, but in some form or fashion, you want to show who's behind the website whether um, you're the CEO you're the president you're the founder you know you want to show your team um, I would say you know show who you are and tell your story on your site and why that's important is because it will um, allow people to get a chance to know you and then it would build trust um, it would show transparency and then people will get you know their guards as far as not willing to do business with you would come down and then they would um, feel like they know you and then they can trust you and then they would purchase something from you. Other tips um, uh, for for optimizing your, your site for better conversions is um, using arrows and, and point your arrows to places where you want people to or to take action. So in this case this is a five point this is my five point website audit um, page where um, someone can come in here and get a free website audit. And in this case, if I wanted to convert at a higher rate, you know, um, I I sort of apply the arrow, and that's been proven and tested um, to to actually raise the percent of people converting uh, on that page. Um, some other tips that I would recommend is, uh, or let's do this. Let's go over to a a landing page example. This is a landing page called uh, from the company called Campaign Monitor, and they are a a um, email marketing tool. Okay, so I actually took the screenshot from from them, and uh, this is their landing page—a basic, simple landing page, very well done, nice branded um, logo there, nice imagery, um, fonts, everything is very you know a beautiful page. Now, if I was given the task to optimize this landing page for better conversions. One of the things that I might do is test out a um, put a video here and uh, have that video video be a testimony a testimonial um, of one of our clients, you know. So one of the clients for Campaign Monitor, and this would be an authentic interview style video that um, the customer would be basically um, talking about how Campaign Monitor was able to improve their business. So that's proven and test. That's proven and that's tried and uh, tested as far as being a successful um, um, way to to increase conversions. You know, testimony um, from from customers, but authentic testimonies, I think, is the key. Uh, the other thing is, obviously, I would put an arrow, maybe going to this this um, start button here. Um, this basically, the arrow basically is just a subconscious sort of uh, call call to action that sort of. Uh, converts uh, a little bit better than not having it so I would do that um, the other thing you can do is also um, have a video from the president so in this case say this was my site 
this video would probably I could I could produce a video here and basically talk about what products I'm selling and and um, the services that I offer you know again providing transparency into who's running the site and uh, building trust let's go over to another uh, um, some examples of, of uh, some sites that um, you we could probably optimize for better convergence this is a nice site called FreshBooks uh, invoicing tool I use this tool it's uh, it's an amazing product their site their company is is amazing I don't have any faults with it but if I wanted to I, I would like if, if if I was these guys I would actually have a video somewhere on this site at the at the first page here obviously they have you know a free trial I love that they have the tour button here that takes you through a lot of screenshots um, I love this because it allows you to see behind the scenes and things like that but if I was to, if I was these guys I would actually have a video somewhere here um, that where user could come into this site right away click the video and have a two-minute presentation on what FreshBooks is all about without me having to go through the site so I would definitely do that um, and this is a, an example of what I mean this is the site called do-it-yourself themes and um, this is the um, site for thesis WordPress theme and you come in right off the bat they have a big video here that you click that video it walks you through a presentation on actually what thesis is all about so you know that's I think it's very highly uh, successful at converting at a higher rate um, also your call to action buttons here um, instead of let's go back instead of saying get started which is basically a uh, a, a tough sell meaning if I was if I came to this site and I wasn't ready to get started that that sort of call to action wouldn't be um, I guess ideal for me but if I saw a a button that said click here to see pricing or plans that's more of a soft soft call to action so I don't really have to commit to anything other than clicking here and seeing the pricing plans and that's been known to convert at a higher rate as well so make your buttons a softer push rather than a hard sell here's another good example um, site called business catalyst it's a site called uh, I mean this this is a business development tool um, for allowing uh, small businesses to uh, build websites and things like that so again this I love this and this is what I mean by you come into the site um, without having to read and and learn about who what this company does I can click this you know video pops up here and it plays and it talks about what business catalyst is perfect and on, on the right here you have um, testimonies um, basically these are testimonials from uh, customers and real stories so uh, I can click here and read the case study basically on how this person was able to use this site business catalyst tool and uh, be successful at it to help their business so I love that and so um, that's pretty much uh, the other thing is uh, if you had a chance if you have a chance go over to basecamphq.com this is Basecamp site for uh, th from 37 signals and they have some of the best um, customer testimonial videos that I've seen um, out on the web so if you go there and just browse these videos here um, they're they're very well done and 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 you know I think uh, produced in a great way and um, check out check this out now again I, I highly recommend video testimonials now I would say if you're a small business owner I would say work on that obviously there's like some production time and, and video editing and, and some things that are involved and costs that involved in actually getting this produced and published on your site um, but I'd say you know keep it in mind um, you know there's always a, there's a lot of um, uh, companies out there that allow um, you know video production that does video production and, and would actually help you with with um, producing videos like this so um, either your web designer or a small business owner um, keep keep th keep that in mind as far as a uh, video testimonials because it's highly um, recommended and uh, known to to convert at a at a better rate all right so those are just a few tips that I wanted to to walk you through um, there's a lot more but those are some of the um, the 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 most important ones video on your site um, video uh, customer testimonials and um, 
and arrows, um, a soft call to action, um, you know, instead of a hard call to action, um, you know, customer testimonials, uh, you know, message from the president or CEO, whatever, you know, those type of things are, are uh, helps build trust, you know, create transparency and um, get people to convert more. All right. So that's all I got. Um, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com. And we'll talk soon. All right.